One of the most important factors when choosing the appropriate footwear for a person is to make sure that we are meeting them where they are. We want the shoe to be comfortable. When the person is walking or running, they should not have to think about what shoe is on their foot. So the ability to meet the person where they are is going to be key. When we think about that, if we have someone that prefers to feel the ground a little bit more, who is used to walking or running in a shoe that doesn't have as much stack height, something like the Escalante with a smaller stack height is going to be the perfect shoe for that person. On the other hand, if we have someone who has been running or walking in a higher stack height shoe, where they're used to more cushion, then we want to consider something that's going to match them, like the Ultra Olympus. So we're going to be meeting the person where they are, depending upon what makes them feel most comfortable and safe. So along those same lines, really what we wanna do is create basically a custom recommendation for the foot that's in front of you because some feet are going to have a more narrow shape and that's where something like a more standard last is going to be a better fit versus someone who has a wider foot might need to be in a shoe that's on the original last that offers a little bit more width. Along the same lines, we can also consider volume. There's different materials on all of the different uppers that allow for a little bit more give or a little bit more rigidity, which should be considered when you're thinking about either the volume of the foot or the shape. For example, if they have bunions or something where they need a little bit more give. And then we also want to look at the heel counterfeit because the heel counter can be made of a little bit more stiff material or it can be a little bit more pliable, which can also determine how they feel and whether they feel like their heel is slipping in and out of the shoe. And then lastly, another consideration that I will make is also whether or not guide rails can be helpful. And this is something that I like for, for example, my patients that have chronic ankle sprains, because the nice thing about the guide rails is they give a little bit more reinforcement or guidance, but they only are there when you need it. They're not going to interrupt the flow or the function of the foot, but they're there for a little bit of assistance to help guide you where you need to go. I think the other factor with the experience line also is the fact that there's a rocker to the foot. So if there are people who have stiffness in their big toe, this can be an excellent shoe for them to be able to facilitate that four foot rocker. All while still having that nice wide toe box.